Morning, guys. Good morning. It's John here, Mr. Forex Fire. It is the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody around the world. It is approximately uh, around about 10 to 9 in the morning. Okay. Uh, we do have the Fire Hallmarks Alert System set up. And we're going to go through today, uh, possibly trying to use one or two of those signals to then set up the chart. So then possibly get in on an end with you, okay? So again, as always, this is done on the fly. It's recorded as I do this live throughout the day. So that's going to be my concentration for today, okay? This video is going to be uh, the harmonics with the pitchforks uh, using the fire alerts, which is now what we've got set up in the group. Uh, so when we get those alerts, we can then go to the chart instead of being on the charts all day, which is going to be fantastic, to be fair. Uh, maybe in the next week or two, we might go over uh, the harmonic fire entries. But for this week, we'll do something on the pitchforks. OK, well, first of all, we're going to go through a few simple rules and I'm going to show you how you can trade straight from trading view, set up a demo account and trade this technique straight from. Uh, trading view and give the, the demo account a name so you know what you're working with as you're forward testing. Okay, if that makes sense. So let's have a look. We'll share the screen and get my handsome face in that top corner. Okay, share the screen. Uh, we'll just minimize that at the moment. Right, so first of all, what you want to do, you need to go to Pepperstone. Okay. You just need to go to the pepper store login. Click on the top. Click on login. Okay. From there, you sign in or you just register for a new account. Now, what you want to do, and you can do this on the several techniques and uh, and sort of prop, uh, the strategies that I'm using. Okay, let's just take a look. We'll get my handsome face a bit bigger. So when you get onto the account, you want to click on demo, okay? You'll see I've got two areas on here. You request an account, go to trading view, go to the amount that you are wanting to want to trade as a test account. I generally go for a 10K because I normally try and do 10K challenges and then build those up. And then I will give it a nickname. This bit is very important. <clears throat> give it the nickname on the particular style of strategy you're using. It doesn't have to be a one that I'm doing, but if you want to forward test the stuff that I do with these different techniques, it is advisable to give that, that account the, the name of what you're gonna be trading the style with, okay? So when it comes to uh, submit, you go to submit, and then obviously it'll come up on here. So we started doing one with the fire levels, started with 10 gear. Last week, we using small lot sizes, we took that to a hundred pound profit. So I'm gonna start this week with the, the harmonic pitch fork, okay? From there, once you've done that, you simply, you simply just go to, uh, let's take a look, we'll just get this on here. To get it to recognize your account, okay? You need to go, to paper trading, okay, so your trading panel. So you're gonna click on this, this arrow. You're gonna to go to connect Pepperstone, okay? When you connect, it's gonna to want to communicate with Pepperstone, okay? And then it's gonna tell you the trading view has access to these accounts. So I've got two live accounts, I've got my fire levels, and then you're gonna see the pitchforks are just there. Take note of the account number. Okay, and I'll show you why. Yeah, so this number is ends in 315. We're simply going to approve the access, okay? Now, in the drop-down menu, you want to make sure you are selecting 315 for the fire harmonic pitchfork, okay? So the other demo account on the fire levels is 776. My harmonic pitchfork is 315. So I've selected that account. I've now got the 10K and we're ready to rock, okay? So this morning we got an alert through uh, and we're gonna have a little 
little go at setting one or two of these up. You'll see we've got the Euro JPY. Okay, let's just take a look. There's the Euro JPY, and this is on the hour. Okay, so you can see Euro JPY. We'll get this set up, and again, you can set these up as is in the diagram. So we've got the X here, B, C, D. Okay, uh, and of course. You should know by now how to get these uh, harmonic patterns on there. And then obviously we're going to be going through the whole strategy and things like that. So that's the first one set up for today. There's nothing else we can do, okay, other than put a pitchfork on. So we just go to where the fib retracement is, pitchfork. And you're going to do the X, the E. The X to the C to the D, okay? Now, the levels I have on here, we'll talk through the levels today. You just want to copy these off. So I've got, these do not matter what order you have them in, okay? Or color. Uh, so you've got a, a 0.25, a 1.1, a 0.5, a 0.75, and then the one. The background color is just simply as is. It just tells you how deep you want the colors in the background. I like to have a little bit of shade, okay? And then what you can do, you can go to save the template, save as so I'm just going to call it Fire Harmonic Pitch 4, okay? So I can save it on there. So now if I want to put it on, I've got it set up there straight away. Uh, and that's it, guys. From there, we just need to let price play out a little bit. Uh, I'll come back in a little while once we get set up because this alert's just come to us. Once price has played a little bit and we are still in the field of vision, okay, if price does move up, which it's anticipating, we can then start looking at starting to trade this, okay? One other thing I would possibly do as well is on, on the harmonic where we've got the lines, just to get that off, click that there we've got everything set okay and then we'll put the lock on the drawing tool and for today what we're going to do is we're going to make uh all these uh, let's take a look we'll make these yeah a green color we'll make it a green color has there any on green there's three on green so i just want to get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that go back to London. Uh, so the Euro JPY, we've got green. So when we go off here and then we go back, anything that is on green today is going to be what we're working upon. Okay. So that's the first one set up. Uh, let's look back again. Uh, so we've got the Euro JPY. Let's have a look at the odd. Uh, we've got the odd USD to cipher pattern. Uh, go on here. There's the audio SD. Something I was looking at just the other day, get it on the hour. Uh, again, move my area over here, the audio SD. There's another one just come through there now. Ciphers, I don't think I have set up on here. Let's take a look. Inputs, style, visibility. I don't think I've got the cipher pattern. Yes, I have got the cipher patterns. Uh, <laughs> Audio SD. A lot of signals coming through at the moment. But we'll leave that one for now because the cipher pattern hasn't come through in here. Cipher patterns, I don't normally trade if I'm honest with you. Uh, in fact, the cipher, I'm going to take off here. I would only normally trade the Gartley, the bat, the butterfly, the crab, and the deep crab, okay? If you're going to say you're on the signal areas, okay? 
and you're not getting the pictures through on these, it's normally because they may be exotics, uh, okay? Uh, from there, we just had the NZDJPY come in. So it's nice to see this working. It's nice to see this working as we're going through. There's another one. Uh, USD, NZDJPY, sorry. Get that ticked off. We'll see if that one's going to pick it up. So it's this one here. Okay, you'll see the pattern. It's this here. Okay. If you're unsure about the patterns that it's thrown at you, you just need to put uh, this on and go to labels. This on the left is going to show you the current pattern that you need to do. So it's the green, the green. Take the labels back off, click OK. Let's scroll in. Look at this, uh, the flurrying in now. Fantastic. This is going to save so much time to trade, to be fair. There's another setup. And again, just go to the eye. From there. Pitchfork it up. And there we have that one. Make this one green. So now we've got the NZD JPY set up. We've got set up there. Uh, NZD USD. This is on the four hour. So let's go on the four hour. Where's my NZD at? NZD USD, get rid of that. Four hour. It's a cipher. So again, ciphers I don't normally trade. So we've got two, two setups there at the moment. Euro JPY, NZD JPY, both on the hour. Again, let's just minimize that. We might need to let this play out a little bit, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drop this down to a 15 minute on that one at the moment. And uh, again, on the NZD GFAY, I'll do the same. We'll drop it down to 15 minute. We might even go down to the five minute to be fair. So the NZD GFAY, the Euro GFAY, yeah, both on the 15 minute. Uh, and then we'll talk about the whole suite strategy in conjunction with it in a moment. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to pause the video. Going to let a little bit of price action play out for, for now. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast. We'll be back on the chart in a little while. So that's how we get set up on these charts at the moment. Hi guys, so what we're going to be looking at now is uh, obviously we've got the, the patterns, so okay, we've got two patterns, we'll see if we can work some of them from this today. Uh, just to recap, Euro JPY and uh, the NZD JPY, okay, uh, again, we're just taking off the harmonics now, we've taken off the alerts that we've had on here, uh, so th this is a good system that we've got going. From there, we want to drill it down. I'm going to try and do these entries from a five minutes. Okay, generally we can go down to a 15 minutes, uh, but we're going to forward test and do a five minute entry. Okay, so if we go down to five minutes, you can see now we've had some price movement. Okay, we've had some price movement, and from the day point, we're going up to the first level. Okay, now all of these will generally bounce between the funnels okay this is a level this is like a playing field sort of thing so if you can imagine your pitchforks when you go down your day you're anticipating a reversal and movement yes harmonics can repaint but this is where the pitchforks come in and we've got the outer field okay if anything breaks out of these outer fields i would just generally move on to the next sort of uh 
next next pair, okay? So once we've got the hour, and then we went into maybe a half an hour of play on that hour chart, we can go down to, in this instance, we're going to go down to a five minute, okay? Uh, and then what I want to do is, I just want to ignore all of this at the moment. I'm just wanting to concentrate in a segment, which is going to be this area here, okay? I don't care what's happened over here. I just want to focus what's happening between each of these bands, okay? Now, generally, uh, price will revisit up to what we call the median line. There's a lot of groups, a lot of communities, a lot of places out there that will tell you there's an 80% chance it will reach up to that. I can tell you now that is utter bull crap. This will only reach uh, to a certain level uh, up to 80% of the time, which is generally just on the, on this, this next level sort of thing, okay? It, it's not 80% up to the median line. It, it's just a, a certain, from a certain swing point, just above the D point, okay? Uh, so don't let anybody fool you with that. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be going to the whole suite. Now, if you don't know what the whole suite is, you need to look at my previous videos. If you're in the Discord, you know exactly what it is and you know how to apply this. So we're just gonna click on the I, okay? And then what we've got is we've got the whole suite here. You can see it's given you uh, buy and sell trigger points, okay? The whole suite strategy is basically uh, a bit like a simple moving average or uh, an exponential moving average with pivotal points. And those pivotal points is going to tell you when to buy or sell. OK, now with what I have on here, you can pause the video at any time. So on the inputs, OK, this is what you would need on the inputs. Pause the video and then copy all of these down. You need it to, to all because when you first start, this might be long or short. Uh, everything else is as is. I'll have this on, on close. I have the whole variation on AHMA, which you might have to change that to that. And then I have the, the length uh, for floating at around about 40. You can tinker wrong with that if you want to. However, I, I, I'm forward testing this with 40. The line thickness, you might want to reduce. I put this down to three. And the transparency of the band, so the, the sort of opacity, I've got it to 40, okay? So pause your video, take notes of, of that, jot it down. So if you want to follow forward with what I'm doing with the forward test, you can do. And again, what we'll do is when we get into a trade, uh, we're going to start taking the trades methodically and with proper risk management as well. The properties... You want it, uh, I do believe this is just kept as is, okay? So if you want to just pause and then just take notes what this is, okay, pause the video. The style, I have taken away the, the bar color, okay? So just, it doesn't sort of make it too busy. Uh, all it's doing is it's just making certain other areas green, okay? So if you notice on the buy and, and the sell, you're going to see a highlighted candle and change, okay? I'm just going to change the bar color. I'm just going to keep it off, okay? Uh, from there, just take a screenshot. You've got the bar color off and the quantity off on this side. Visibility, you just leave that as is, okay? Now, when you get all of those done, just go to default and then save as your default. So that'll just save it every time that you go on the chart and you highlight the whole strategy onto your chart system okay uh, so from there uh, it's going to be as simple as let the price play out and we just want to see a couple of buy and sell signals within here and i'll be back in a short while once we get a few of those and we'll be looking for an entry on the next on the next part of the video it's as easy as that as long as we get our fire alerts in here we just go over to the chart look for that pair mark the harmonics up and then we apply uh, drop down to a five or a 15 minutes the the smaller the time frame the finer the entry you're going to get and then when we get a move from out of the day point you get a few buy and sells and you're still in the field of clear okay those pivotal points is going to give you a refined entry because the direction from the day point is showing you prices staying within the field of vision which is good and there's a chance where it may not re Okay, so I'm going to pause the video for now, and we'll be back in a moment once we get a couple of buy and sell areas. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
excuse me, right. So guys, what we've got is we've drilled down from the one hour down to the five minute on the Euro GP, GPY, okay, the, the Japanese yen. We've got a, a buy signal at the moment. Now, these are on ordinary candles, okay, so we need to change it to Heiken Ashi. So you just go to here, click on Heiken Ashi, and we have now got the next stage put in. We are waiting for the buy and sell signal on here. And we haven't got one yet. We've got one here just now. Generally, what you would do is you would uh, scroll in, possibly wait for the closer candle after that two minute and wait for the next candle to uh, populate. Okay. Uh, well, we'll wait for this candle to come down just to see if it, if it contains a flat, a flat body candle. Uh, what it'll generally mean, okay, I'll just bring my handsome face into here. What it'll generally mean if we just get the, the arrow on, you'll see the hike and ashes. When there is a, a trend, okay, and it's an upward trend and it's a strong continuation, whether it's up or whether it's down, you will see each candle steers as a flat bottom, okay? It's a continuation and trend. You'll see on here, as it's gone up, that after one, two, three candles, there was a little bit of indecisiveness. There was buying power and selling pressure. So it created a bit of a doji, okay? A bit of a fatter body doji on here. And then there was a reversal, okay? The bit of a reversal. And it wasn't confirmed that there was going to be a reversal downtrend until we then got the next flat bottom. So then after we came up, doji, a little bit of a reversal on the red candles. They were a bit indecisive. Uh, a bit of a hammer top on here, and then we come down into Redoji. Then we got the flat bottom, second flat bottom, third flat bottom, which con which confirmed that continuation and trend coming back down from the reversal from the top. And then we sort of had a long tail wick on the bottom, so uh, we could see that the, there was pressure in the buy, and if that makes sense. And then we went straight back into uh, some Doji, 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 and then a, a very indecisive uh, Doji here. And then we've gone back into buying pressure. Okay. And you can see on the whole, we've gone green. And then as we've come up, we've confirmed this by getting a flat bottom here. There's a flat bottom here. So then it's gone back into a buy. And then what we are waiting for is the timer on here is currently on 15 seconds. We're waiting for that to cancel out. We are around about, around about on the, the first sort of section of the funnel area. The next candle will continue 50% of the previous. Okay. And we're going to take an entry on this. And again, this is just about forward testing. Okay. So I'm just waiting for that to continue. There we are there. So I'm going to put, uh, let's have a look. I'm going to put a buy. Okay. Let's have a look. I need to go into my, yeah, uh, I'm not set up. In fact, I can't set up a buy because I haven't put this on my Pepperstone. So we're just going to go into Pepper's. I need to go into Pepperstone and it's the NZDJPY. NZDJPY, let's take a look. We'll set this up. NZDJPY, Pepperstone. Okay, let's put in. <clears throat> And we might have to set this trade back up as well. So I do apologize. Again, we'll go up to the hour. We'll go into ordinary candles. And if I can't get this set up, we'll just there uh, go back onto the other pair. Oh, the same pair, but on the different on that different broker. I do apologize. Uh, let's take a look. We'll go into here. This was it here. And this just proves to you that I'm not hiding behind anything, to be fair. I am doing this recorded on the fly live. Uh, there's no hiding behind anything. Uh, we're going down to five minutes. We're going to hike and ash. In fact, we need to go back up to the hour. We need to go on to this, and then we need to do the pitchfork. So the pitchfork up to here, to here. We're then going on to hike and ashi, and then we're going down to five minutes. Okay. Now I'm going to go in for a buy. 
and we're going to set the take profits at the minute. We're going to risk uh, 0 0.20. In fact, we'll, we'll risk a 0 0.50, uh, half a lot size. Uh, we'll just go on a buy. Get rid of this, why is it not? Focused into here. The buy. Uh, this, this. Why are we getting order rejected? I don't know. Let's take a look. Trade. Create new order. We're going to risk a 0.25%. Sorry. 0.25. I thought that was a lot size, 0 0.25. <clears throat> so it's a 0 0.15. There we are. So we bought there. We're going to have the stop loss. We'll just wait for this to populate. Okay. Stop loss, I'm going to keep just below the swing point. Okay. And we're going to aim, let's see, the take profit. We will take up to here at the moment. I'm going to sort of factor in where we are with a long position. So we've got a long position here. We've got a short to here. That's a, that's going to be just over a one to one. Let's see, we can take a two or one through. We'll go a bit further. If this comes up to this area. In fact, we'll take it to that there. So it's level on the top. There'll be a 37 pound profit. Let's see how that plays out. Uh, we might as well, obviously put this on green, but we might as well. Uh, that's on the NZD JPY, Euro JPY. We might as well set this one up on Pepperstone because obviously we've got this on the different broker on that. So go back to Pepperstone. Have we got the Euro JPY on here? Uh, we can set that up. That's no problem. Euro JP Y Just take a look. Add that in. On the bottom, and again, we need to uh, filter all this in. We'll get rid of the noise. We need to go up to the, the one hour, put on the regular candles. Put my face over here. Let this populate. Hopefully, it's still going to pick up that harmonic pattern from this morning, to be fair. Yep, it has. So, again, just to talk you through, X. A, B, C, down to the D. Okay. We can then get our harmonic out. X, C, to the D. Get that on there. Make sure we've got our points. You can see we've come out a bit of the D a little bit here. We're going to go down to Haikanashi, get rid of the, the harmonic outline, put on the whole suite, go down to five minutes, and we can see, let's just get this on the blue, uh, the blue lock. We can see we're just coming into a buy now. Uh, I'm going to let this play out a little bit longer on that one, simply because uh, there's a little bit of a, a down arrow coming on here at the moment. I, I want to see a bit more. Uh, of this upward trend, okay. What I mean by the upward trend, it's got to be flat bottom candles. We're coming back into, even though it's telling us a buy on this candle here, okay, it's telling us a buy on this candle here. That's an indecisive candle, it's a doji, and there's starting to be a little bit of a reversal coming down. So I'm not confident with that one as of yet. However, if we go back onto the green list, 
This is the one we're in at the moment. It's in a little bit of drawdown. Sometimes you've got to wait for uh, a second buy signal, to be fair, just to make sure that it's going to be a continuation of trend. We're going to see what happens as we forward test to see um, if we can get in, in this a little bit earlier. If it feels, it feels. This is what this is about. It's about forward testing, okay? But generally, we would wait for a buy. It's, then it will give another sell. Then it will go another buy, which may be a little bit higher up. We're just going to see what happens if we try and get in that little bit earlier. Okay, guys. Uh, and then, in fact, what we'll do is we'll make the stop loss a little bit tighter than just underneath that there. Because that's going to give a risk to reward. Let's get that blue off. If just, uh, just under one, to, or just over to one to four and a half. And again, I'm not here to be perfect. I'm here to try and give you options with regard to trading uh, different styles. Uh, again, so this might resonate with some, it might not resonate with others, but again, it's all about forward testing and seeing how we can take things. Again, medium line, it's going to go up there at one to 4.58 to where I've got to take profit at just under a one to three. The reason I've chose that area at the moment is uh, it's just because it's, it, it's a line of where price has visited quite a bit, okay? It's not to say it's going to push straight up and go straight to the medium line. Sometimes these can take a day or two, especially when they're, when they're on mainly the one-hour chart, okay? Uh, and the news we've got going on in Russia at the moment. Uh, uh, this could quite easily tank, to be fair, uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll go back down to five. It might come back down to test these levels, to be fair, but we'll see what happens. So the euro GPY, again, even though we've got the buy on this candle, we're starting to get the downward pressure on here. So now we've got some movement on the pairs. What we'll do is we'll keep an eye on if anything else comes about on here. We'll check each hour. We'll set those up, put them in the green tab, and then we will uh, work it accordingly. And then I'll upload this video as and when uh, we finish the day trading, okay? This is all about forward testing. Uh, and again, just to go on to what we've got, we've got uh, the account set up with a 10K account, okay? Demo, Pepperstone, and we're currently in around about five or six pound of, uh, what's the word, drawdown at the moment. Uh, looks like there's going to be a bit more of a push down in here. Maybe we should have waited for that second buy signal, to be fair. But again, this is forward test. We'll see what works and what doesn't. We'll see what works and what doesn't. I'll be back in a short while. So yeah, as we can see, we've hit the we've hit the SL. Uh, again, this is not about being perfect. This is uh, to forward test. Let's wait for the next sort of push up, uh, possibly the sell to the next buy. It still can be early days for this. To be fair, uh, I did put a tight SL to be fair. Uh, I will move this back down to just under the swing point. I put it to where the green to the red was. Uh, again, lost a bit of profit. I'm going to keep the balance going as, as we are to be fair, just to see what happens. Uh, again, swing point, maybe we should have kept the swing point uh, as the SL. But took the first loss on that. We'll see what happens. We'll go on to the Euro GPY. Uh, again, we do have a buy signal, but we've had a bit more of a downtrend. Sometimes it is worth waiting for a couple of these to play out, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to stop the share for a minute because I want to talk about something as well. Again, this is a technique where you have to be patient as well. Uh, it's not one of these where you've got the harmonic and you can just get straight into a trade, if I'm honest with you. You have to let the, uh, the day point sort of play, which... Um, obviously from the one hour. And then you've got to remember, if you're on a, a 15 minutes, you're going to have four candles for that next hour. So sometimes you have to have, from a higher time frame. I'm just going to share the screen, I'll explain maybe something that, that this might be a little bit better to be fair. So when we're on the one hour, let's put the one hour, okay? We've only just had the alert, okay? So there hasn't been much movement. So maybe looking at this, we need to get maybe one or two more hours of candles worth before we look into the trade, okay? I'm just trying to get into a rhythm where we can find the sweet spot, if that makes sense. Uh, even if we go down to 15 minutes, <clears throat> we can see <clears throat> there's nothing showing on there at the moment. The NZD 
JPY. Uh, again, there is no buy signal on there. On the five minutes, there was low, but it, it is coming down. I think on the four-week test that we're doing with this, we could be trying to anticipate and getting in a little bit too early. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. We'll come back because we've got the two harmonic patterns on these two particular ones. We'll let it do what it needs to do, maybe for the hour or two. We'll come back around about dinner time because there should be a few candles then played from the D point of that makes sense. There should be at least uh, another one or two candles from there. And then we're going to look delving deeper into the fractal nature of where uh, if we see a, see a one o'clock, if I see a one o'clock, because that's two hours from now, we're then going to have on a 15 minute fractal nature, we're going to have eight other candles up here. And it's all about getting in on these super more refined NP areas. I think we've sort of not bitten off more than what we can chew. We've tried to get in a little bit too early, to be fair. Uh, and then we can work it from uh, in the next hour or two from there. So again, when we get these alerts, it's not always best to get straight in on them. I think we've learned that lesson from the first trade. Done that bit on purpose as well, to be honest, just to see, uh, obviously, the outcome of that. There was a, it was a 50-50 chance if it was going to let us in. But again, we we need to sort of uh, narrow down uh, the narrative and uh, the rules that we're going to be following. So when we're on the hour chart, yes, you need to drill down to a 15-minute or a 5-minute for entry but you still need to have two or three hours of candles to play before we can break it down, okay? I think that's evident from what's happened just there. So I'm going to pause the video. We'll be back in the next hour or two just to see where we are signalized uh, on the hike and actually on the New Zealand Japanese yen and also the Euro Japanese yen, okay, guys? So I will be back in the next hour or two. Thank you. Hi right, guys, so we're back again. I'm just gonna share the screen. And we're gonna be taking more time to get into entries on these, because again, we are forward testing, but it is a, a method that works very well. So uh, just as a recap, uh, we got two entries, or two sort of pairs, NZD, JPY, Euro, JPY. Uh, and we drilled it from the one hour, got the harmonic pattern on there, put the hike and ashes on it, when from the one hour, we're trying to get a super refined entry on the five minute. You can see from here, we're starting to get a couple of buys, okay? D points here. So we're right on the verge of the D point still. If we go up to the one hour chart, which is where it originates from, we are wanting a couple of uh, hours to play out. So then we've got the movement, but then you will just bring it down to the 15 minutes or the five minutes. I'm looking for the buy on the 15 minute as well. We've got a couple of buys on the 15 from the D point, from the five, I should say, into DGPY. Again, we entered early on this one. Uh, again, it was the forward test. Uh, if it failed, it failed. It did do that. Again, I'm not here to be perfect. I need to show you the process so we can eliminate the, the hurdles and everything else that comes with it. So we got in a little bit early, had a little bit more of a tighter SL, which was here, okay? Uh, we, we extended it to the wick of this area here. It's nearly come down to wick at the moment. At the moment, it is in drawdown from there. I haven't gotten in on this trade again. I've left it to play for a bit, uh, simply because when you look at this, we lost one trade. Go to the history, you'll see it here. It, it failed, okay? Uh, not to worry. Again, we started with a 10K account demo. You've seen at the beginning how I started this off. This is all about forward testing with these things. Uh, and again, we've got a buy signal there at the moment on the five minutes. But again, uh, it's coming back into a cell. There's a cell just appeared there. So it might be a case that this pattern is simply just going to be a field pattern. We don't know that yet. Uh, just going on what we've got the consolidation on the bottom. Uh, we can see from the hour on the NZDGPY, there's just been a continuation of... Uh, Hike and Ashley down, and you can see flat bottom candle, flat bottom candle, flat bottom candle, flat bottom candle. The difference or what, what can be a little bit of a takeaway on this at the moment is as these are showing flat bottom candles and there's a strength going down into uh, the cellar, okay, each candle as it's come down is getting smaller. 
So not only is it telling you that the trend, okay, the trend and the continuation is there from a flat bottom, as those candles get smaller from that, the volume is not there. So the volatility is due to change. Again, on, on this aspect, uh, it does have a full hour for this at the moment. If we start seeing longer tail wicks on here, we could start seeing a, a change in reaction on, on the pair, to be fair. Again, the one hour on the Euro JPY, you can see again, uh, we've we've got flat bottom candle, flat bottom candle, flat bottom candle. But as we're coming down, we're starting to see a change and a shift in the volume on these candles. We take it to the 15 minutes. And as you break down, obviously, the hour, you're going to get four candles in each of these hours. So within this candle and this candle and this candle, you're most certainly going to see a few green ones on the 15 minutes. And that just concurs that. Uh, Again, just put this on the, the, the lock, so we're not going to be locking anything in. And then if we drill down to five minutes, there's going to be a further uh, three candles in each of those as well. So we could be looking for an entry at the moment uh, on the, the Euro JPY. Uh, we haven't ended on the Euro JPY yet. Uh, the strength on the ends of the JPY is coming down a bit but we might get an entry soon on this one here. We're just going to wait for a moment to see what happens once the, the timer comes down okay. So I'm not going to rush into it. I will take the time and we'll see what happens. We need, like I see it from a one hour aspect, we need a few candles to play up from where the D point where it was first. Uh, first met from, so like I said, we go down to the 15 minutes, uh, you can see from that aspect, that's where the D point was on the hour, down the five minutes, we've had a few candles, but we just need, we just need a, a, a few, like from the buy, you're certainly going to need this aspect with the flat bottom, flat bottom, flat bottom, uh, again, when you look at it structure-wise, when you look at this structure-wise, which we'll talk about, uh, we've not had a break of structure from here. And you, you need to factor in these things as well. Obviously, you've got a, a high, you've got a lower high, and you've got a lower high. Uh, and all honesty, what you would need, because you've got liquidity residing on these areas, okay, uh, let's just take a look. There's liquidity residing on here. And here. And you've got a liquidity residing here. You need these to be attacked as well, because as long as this, this is showing lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and there's not been a break, then again, we need to wait uh, for something to push up to show us a possible change in volatility and volume as well. So even though we've got a buy on here, I'm not confident because we, we we pushed from this buy signal to just here and it hasn't it hasn't come up to mitigate into this lower high here. So I do want to see a push from from this out of here. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not going to rush into it. Uh this isn't a scalping technique if that makes sense. We are overall uh to put a little bit of context in it. We are waiting for that trend reversal uh, from the D point, obviously. But within the trend reversal, we are looking for a refined area, a refined area from the 15 and 5 minutes. But this is not going to be a scalp in and out. You're still going to be trading within the confines of the C to D range. So again, it's not an in and it's not out procedure. The only way I would possibly think around that is, is once we did have a possible sort of break of structure. And at the moment, when we look at the bigger picture, okay, we are still hovering right and teetering right on the edge of the field of play. That's the other thing we need to think about. And when I say a field of play, the, the field of play is the boundary of the pitchfork, okay? If this was to come out of here, see, if this was to push out here, we are now, what I would consider is, this is a no man's land sort of area because we're, we're now pushing and driving that D point a bit further down. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. 
hopefully we'll get uh, some form of trade from this, to be fair, because uh, we need to uh, see, see the barrier push up out of this. And then we can take another look at the buy and sell areas that are coming off, off these, okay? So I'll be back in a moment, even if it takes a few hours, I'll just keep pausing and revisiting uh, these harmonic patterns, okay? Uh, once we get a break of structure on the downside and it pushes out of this, this D area, I might reconsider what we're looking at. Okay, so we'll, we'll put this line here. We'll make that thick on a four. And again, we'll, we'll make that a bright pink, okay? So if we come out, we'll break the D point field division pitchfork and break out of here. We may need to reconsider uh, what we're looking at as part of a as part of the uh, overall maneuver. Okay, so again, D point on here. We'll have that out. It's coming at the field of play on here. So we, if we push out, unfortunately, on this. We just need to look for a new trend, okay? We do need to see this push up, to be fair, okay? So we're not going to enter another trade until we see one or two things happen. We're just sort of minimizing the risk, and we are looking at the overall picture. But at the moment, there's a possible there's a possible maneuver on this, depending on what happens with one of these three here. If we break a liquidity uh, higher, What's the word? A lower high, okay. If we get a high, yes, it'll be a, it'll be a lower high. Uh, if we break the lower high from a, a trend reversal to create a high high, then we may be waiting for that buy signal to get in on the trade, and then we'll go from the other swing point, okay. So I hope that makes sense. Again, this is a forward test thing. We're going to be using this account here just to see how we go with that, and I'll be back shortly. Hi right, guys, John here. We're back again. I did set a couple of alerts to be fair on the five minutes. Just cancel that off. Cancel that off. And we're now going to spike up, okay? Uh, so now we could be looking at something. There's been uh, a push up, taking liquidity on this side, this side, and this side. Uh, I will now be looking at a buy, uh, possibly. We'll have a look at the end of DJPY. Uh, again, these looks like there's going to be a push. New candle. Uh, let's go for buy. Let's bring the SL to the D. Take a TP up to the top of it. Modify that. We might be missing the move on this other one, though. Uh, we'll get in on the buy on this. Stop loss will bring down. Take profit. Let's move up. And we'll see what we can manage from this, to be fair. There is a buy, there is a break of liquidity uh, from, from the trend now. Uh, we've got a little bit of profit on there. We'll see where we go from there. Just want to drill into here a bit more. Let's get rid of some of the noise. Again, taking that liquidity. We'll get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So there's been a big push. And if we go back up to that hour, which is where the chart originally started from, you can see from here, uh, spike up into the first channel. Into DGPY. And again, this is on the one hour. We can see it's spiked up into two channels, okay? Uh, so this one to here. Modify that. Let's go back down to the 15 minutes. 
there hasn't been any sort of buy signal on the 15 minute on the NZD, the euro. Uh, there's no buy signal on that. They're just coming from the, the five minutes, to be fair. Uh, again, we'll just get rid of just some of the noise. Heading into a nice bit of profit. What I like about this, what I like about this is if you set up your trading view uh, in the Pepperstone, okay, uh, you can just trade directly from off, off the, the trading view. So you can, you can sort of get used to using the uh, trading view to, to trade from. Again, we're in a, so we're starting to get some nice push on the profits on here. Uh, we're now into profit in itself. Uh, we did take a hit this morning. Um, we may move. Uh, we may move the SL in, uh, just over above take profit for risk free. I do know. I might make a decision, decision uh, or I might just let these play out. To be fair, just to see what happens, we might just let these play out again. With this being the first video, with this being the very first video of of using this technique, we might just let these play out and see what happens. Okay. Uh, I might bring the take profit in a bit. Okay, so if I just move that to here, uh, I take profit. I just move that into here. Uh, I'll be happy with that uh, because we're going to be attacking this level here. Yes, they could go to the medium line, but again, you can see here now it's starting to skyrocket. Okay, we're fine, and this is why I go. I go on about you need a couple of buy and sell signals. Look at this now; it's skyrocketing. Now we've got a good uh, twenty. 20 odd pound profit however we did take a loss of uh, around about 15 pound this morning we got in too early to be fair we got in too early uh just want to get rid of that harmonica uh, again we'll just let that push and see what happens uh, it might come back and hit our stop loss if it does i don't care it's just this is just emphasizing one of the rules we need for certain is don't get in too early just because of the scans there okay this now I'm just going to stop the share for one moment while I talk about this bit. Just because the scan has produced uh, that one hour, okay, the one hour scan, just because it's produced a one hour scan, let's see on here, it doesn't mean you get straight into it. What we need is you get the scan, you set up your you set up your harmonic on the chart, okay, set up your pitchfork. Then from there, let about, in this instance, two or three hours play out, okay? Let about two or three hours play out from that. Then drill down to your, uh, I don't know, the 15-minute or the five-minute chart. See where there's been previous swing points. On this instance, we're waiting at the D point on the bottom, so we're waiting for a trend reversal to go back into an uptrend. So you're coming down from lower highs, Okay. See where you can mark off the lower highs for liquidity area breaks and then come back onto it after that alarm goes like what we've just had there and look for the trigger point on the Heiken Ashi on the second or the third buy signal, okay? Now on here, we can clearly see now we are getting a big, strong push. Uh, let's just share the screen just so you can see that. Uh, we've got, uh, again... Right about £23 profit. We did take a loss a, a bit this morning. Going to let this play out. Uh, I've got the areas that I'm happy with taking the profits at at the moment. Uh, let's take a look. I might bring this down to here as well, to be fair. Uh, put that under there. So, again, we're just going to let these play out, see where it takes us. Uh, I'm not going to move the stop loss, okay? That's going to be the thing for here, okay? We will not move the stop loss. If it turns back on us and hits the stop loss, I don't care. I don't care. It's just we need to see when we put this stop loss in for that D point, see how heavily protected it would be. From there, we're going to see where the take profit takes us. We've gone to a previous lower high, as you can see, on these, okay? The next step when we get in on onto another trade, we might test out that median line which is on the middle, okay? There's a lot of these places will tell you 80% chance it will go there. Uh, that will not happen. Uh, 
it's not 80%. The 80% chance is where it goes to the, the previous swing, to be fair. In this instance, on the downtrend, it's the lower high. The 80% is not the medium, okay? So we'll see what happens. We'll come back in a bit. We're now heading under nearly £30 of profit. Some nice profit there. Uh, so we did take a hit this morning. Conclusion so far, we did take the hit this morning. It was good to, to have that, to feel that, to have that emotion. Then from what I've been showing you in the group is we wait for these uh, buy and sells to come in at least a couple of times down from the one hour to the five minute entries. And then we can take it from there. And I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with uh, what's happened on this occasion to see what, what's going on, you know. Uh, not for me rambling on, I'm going to let it play out. See if it goes to that previous lower high for the take profit. Okay, I'll be happy if it does. It just means that that's worked when we've worked upon the parameters of uh, waiting for these couple of buy and sells from the D point. Uh, the next stage from here is we will test it where we are going to go all in. We're going to go all in with a, a calculated risk to reward. And then we will go for that median line just to see if it plays out. And from there, we will possibly, possibly manage the stop loss area to the previous swings on the trend reversal back. Okay, guys. So again, we run about 33, 34 pounds profit at the minute. Uh, yes, this is including from the hit from this morning. Okay. So we're going to pause the video. We'll be back very shortly. I'm going to let this play out and see where we are at the end of it. Hi guys, just going to share the screen because it's now getting onto the time where I start looking for trades for the four expired trade areas. Uh, I try to do a video on the morning and then as I go into the afternoon, I try to do the New York session and put some trades into those areas. So I'm going to call the trades where they are at the moment. We're going to see where we are on the on profits at the moment. Uh, again, we did take a loss this morning, but you can see now we're hovering around about break even at the moment. Uh, there we are, that's telling us there's, a, there's an alert. All right, so we can see we're in a little bit of profit at the moment. I think if I left these, we will go on. However, uh, there is other techniques that I use and strategies and things like that, as you're all well aware. Uh, I do think that this will turn. I don't think it will go to the median. Uh, I have put a trade and the fire trades for this to come back into a cell. I think it's going to test uh, into this area where the take profit is at the moment, actually, before it starts moving back down. So I'm going to close these trades off. We've got, uh, yes, we took a 15, uh, a 15 uh, deficit on a hit because we got in too early. So I'm going to close these trades off. And that's put us in profit at the moment would have been around about 20 pound for the day for the first for the first two harmonics but we've got this one in profit at the minute of uh, five uh this is in great british pound actually it's not in us dollars so this is five pound 39 in profit i'll continue to do these little bits of videos and showing you this technique working okay uh on top of that i do have the other demo account which is the fire levels which is what i do we took a hundred pound profit on that as well. Okay. So I need to get into that as well for this week though. I am just going to concentrate solely on the, the, the fire pitchfork harmonics. Okay. We'll possibly get into one or two other trades. Once we see them build up on the alerts, I'll take the alerts, put them on, on the scanner, set them up, and then I'll get in on the buy as and when on there. It is the beginning of the week as well. Please remember, so we need to be cautious in our trading. Uh, again, I'm just going to go back on to what was the harmonic. So, so far, so good. One thing I want to come to a conclusion on this as well, okay? Because, again, in the group, in the group of the fire group, okay? I, I mean, I get, I don't mind. I get any amount of questions every day, and I'll always follow up with everybody who needs help needs anything answering okay if you watch any of the videos i do there's a lot of the questions will be answered uh that you'll possibly need to know inside of those videos okay if after you've watched a video there's nothing being answered in that there's one or two ways you can reach out to me okay the best way to reach out to me is either here 
go to where the video is, whether it's in the beginners, the intermediate or advanced, drop your question in there, but make sure you've watched the video relevant to the question you're doing, okay? Or two, better still, you can put your question inside of the YouTube video that I've done. Therefore, I'll get notifications straight on my phone as well. And then if needs be, I can do a follow-up video uh, for you guys because it's better, it's better in all honesty to do something that is visual rather than read something from a comment, if that makes sense. If someone is struggling or someone is stuck and you're not quite understanding something I've done in a video, uh, please comment on that actual video that is on YouTube or put it in the relevant area, whether it's the advanced, uh, intermediate, or beginner section inside of this Discord. And I'll do a follow-up video, okay? Because after all, you've got to learn to crawl before you can walk, and you've got to learn to walk before you can run, okay? And just take for, for to take away this, the takeaway for today is just think of this. There is many platforms out there right now where you're possibly being part of. And there's nothing wrong with those platforms, okay? There really isn't nothing wrong with those platforms because they've got some good communities, some good groups, uh, and possibly some good education at times as well. But if you're going into that as brand new, okay, if you're going into that as brand new and not knowing anything, you are then putting in the fear factor of needing to learn quickly, okay? you're putting in the fear factor of needing to push yourself to be able to pay for the subscriptions, okay? The main reason I built this and this community as well was solely because anybody could come in. You can learn at your own pace. You don't need to run before you can walk. You don't need to walk before you can crawl, okay? You can come in and learn at your own pace. So there's no rush to come in to get sorted to get live trading. This is why if you go back on the video this morning, okay, I've shown you how to trade from TradingView, but not only trade from TradingView, how to set, set up a demo account, okay? Set up that demo account, give it a name, pick a particular style that we are trading within the group, whether that's the EADR currency strength, whether that is a three box strategy, whether that is a one minute scalper, whether that is harmonic fire or whether that is fire pitchforks, okay? Do that on Pepperstone, name that demo account, that particular strategy, okay? For a block of 25 to 50 trades, solely trade that demo account on TradingView with Pepperstone and see what your outcome is after the end of trading 25, 50, 100 trades, <clears throat> or even trading a week's worth of trading, two weeks worth of trading, or even a month's worth of trading based upon a 10 grand demo account, okay? But you must remember, you have to stay strict with the rules, uh, the, the plan, and the way you trade. You don't get into revenge trade. You don't get silly with your lot sizes. You use everything methodically, and that is the best way you can forward test to see where you are structurally in your trading journey, okay? And then from there, if you are still struggling and you need to reach out to me, all you need to do is just ask, get in contact with me. I'm here to help as well as 460 other the people in the group, okay? Because the strength in numbers in, in everything that we do, okay? Uh, the other takeaway I just want to go about is this morning, we got in super early, okay? We can cut, eradicate that mistake straight away. We get in, we set up the chart, we set up the, the pitchfork, we let price move, let it breathe, okay? Because after all, we are basing it upon the structure of a one hour, okay? We've got to remember that. So we need some movement, right? We're breaking it down to 15 and five minute refined areas. Yes, we were waiting at the D point on the bottom. We wait for that trend reversal, breaking the previous lower high. Once we get that brief previous lower high, you will then get them pivotal sort of on the whole strategy. You will get the pivot points where you get the buy and sell. You wait for two or three of those to play out. See that that, that, that trend reversal is there. Then you get in on your buy or your sell, okay? Again, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. 
I'm glad that one of them failed straight away. I purposely went towards that to get in super early to show you what could happen. And then we got in once we had that breaker structure and then we had a little bit of a play out on, on these breaker structures from the, the lower highs, if that makes sense, okay? So please, if you can, uh, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, whether that's on YouTube, please drop your comments. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments on, on the YouTube video. Uh, again, in the Discord, this will be a, uh, in the advanced bit. Please use the advanced chat bit to have a little chat about this at the moment. And if you have not already done so, okay, and you want to get in on when these alerts come out, uh, then again, you, there'll be a link in the Discord underneath this video where you can click on that to get the alerts set up to tell you when to draw these on your charts, okay? So again, we've hit a little bit of profit this morning. It's not much because we took that hit first thing, but the thing is, we've ended the day in profit. You start with zero, you end up with one, and again, that's more than what what we in, what we started the day with, okay? And it's about building the pot and moving forward, okay, guys? Uh, thank you very much. My name's been John, Mr. Forex Fire. If you have any questions, just reach out. I'll see you all later.